So today I am going to be fixing this mess. I have no idea what happened here. All I know is that I need a new outside spigot and this hole in the side of my house already exists. So let's get started. I've already drilled through to the basement and I will be replacing um, with this new Silcock half inch and half turn frost free. You can grab one of these at Menards, Lowe's, wherever. Um, just dry fitting it here to make sure that it is going to work. It has nowhere to rest, so this board will be the new mount for it. I've already made some markings on the side just to figure out where the width is, but I'll show you here. Um, just put it right up to the hole to get an idea of how big of a board I would need. I decided to keep the full size and um, just make to ensure I was covering the whole mess that you see here. So I've got a rough estimate of how big of a space I need to work with and I took it down to my basement using my speed square here to straighten up these lines and I have measured and planned to drill a half inch, inch and a half actually, hole um, to put the silcock through. So this is after I've drilled the hole, used a speed bore a bit and dry fitting to make sure that the uh, spigot fits through. I'll mount this whole thing onto the wall after I paint the board. Here's the board after I've painted it black, which is typical for me. All right, I'm gonna take you down to our basement where I will be cutting into the tubing. I bought that cutter for about nine bucks. Those are my PEX tubes that'll be cut into to tee in a new line. Um, here I've cut into the cold. Blue is for cold, red is for hot. The main water line is in my laundry room there and I turn that off before I cut into the blue tube otherwise my basement would be flooding right now the water that's running out which is what was left in the pipes before i cut it letting that drain out a little bit but the great thing about pex and push to connect fittings is that they don't have to be completely dry in order for you to start working so i use a three quarter to three quarter to half inch shark bite push to connect fitting here i had to transition from three quarter to half inch right there because the scrap that I have is half inch, not three quarter. So you wanna make sure that you buy the right sizes because I didn't the first time. Just checking here to make sure that I have enough scrap to make it all the way from one end to the other, and I do. So the other end is a screw in. Um, you'll use silicone thread tape um, and tighten it with some wrenches to make sure that there's no water leakage. And this is the other side. So I've already screwed the boards to the wall, mounted the silcock with some screws on either side, and I'm gonna turn it on here for you to see that, yes indeed, the water works. So that's that. One last project off my do list. 